Hi friends, I'm Missy with Little Green Bean. Today I am breaking down the 12 most commonly used embroidery stitches and I'm gonna show you how to do each one. We've got 12 different videos so you can learn at your own pace. You can watch them whenever you want. You can learn all 12 or you can learn just one or two, whatever you need. Now, if you're a complete beginner and you really just don't even know where to start but you wanna start embroidering, We've got everything you need on our website, thelittlegreenbean.com. We've got, look for our Learn to Embroider series. We've got beginner kits, we've got starter kits, we've got everything that you need, all the tools, all the supplies, the patterns, everything you need. Now we do have a stitch sampler pattern. These are the 12 stitches you're gonna learn in this series. And if you buy the kit, it comes pre-printed on the fabric, so you don't need to transfer the pattern yourself. But if you wanna do that, that's fine too, and you can just purchase our pattern online and download it, you'll have it immediately. Grab your thread, get your fabric, and happy stitching. If you have questions along the way, you can always send me a message. I'm more than happy to help. Next up is the Lazy Daisy. You're gonna start the Lazy Daisy the same way we started the chain stitch. This stitch is also known as a detached chain stitch. So you're gonna come up through the center and you're gonna go back down next to that same hole, create a loop, and then secure it at the top with a stitch. Again, come up right next to where you created those stitches, right in the center. Now you don't want them to be right on top of each other, you want them to be next to each other. So come up and then go back down in the hole right next to it, make your loop, come up at the top of where your petal is, and then secure it by putting a stitch down through the top. You're gonna repeat this process all the way around your flower until you've created all of your petals. When you're completely done, then you can use your iron or hair dryer to erase the lines because they will be more visible with the Lazy Daisy stitch. They don't get as covered up as some of the other stitches do, but don't worry, as long as you use your heat erase pen, those lines will not be visible when you're done. Once you've completed all of your petals, then you can finish your flower by adding a French knot directly in the center. hope that was helpful. I hope you are having fun learning the art of embroidery. Now be sure to subscribe because we're going to be sharing a bunch more videos here and then head to our website thelittlegreenbean.com where you can find a bunch of beginner friendly embroidery patterns, embroidery kits. We even have a beginner kit where we've included everything that you would need from scissors, embroidery thread, needles, the fabric, everything that you need to get started. We've sourced quality materials on things that you guys are just gonna love. So check them out on our website and we are creating new patterns all the time. I can't wait to see what you make. Be sure to tag us on Instagram. And again, subscribe here so you don't miss out on any of the fun stuff.